experiment is very interesting that Wynne has come up with gone uh, about the boat folder, yeah? The paper boat folder in, and the fact that uh, we would like to mm -hmm. test, right, Wind? Yeah, okay. We're testing how to, yeah, go ahead, yeah? Right now, it's starting to sink a little. I can see that there's some water. Yeah. The what do you start with just now, Wynne? What do you we start with? with my paper airplane. Yes. Yes, yeah. Well, Here we go. Here we go. Furthest. Yeah. Wait, so who do you declare winner? Yes, yeah, right. Winner? Right. Go on, go on. Let him explain. Yeah. The super glider. Yeah. Show me the result of that, please, in the graph, the graph of the flying the direction, direction of, of, of the wind when you when you took the flight. Yeah, when you flew when you flew when you uh, but what uh, when you've flown it, yeah? So when you flew in the Peter. first place, yeah? They're both similar. It's yep. flown in the similar pattern. Yeah. Except this one has a sharp point. Right. So what about the second one that, that you uh, managed to fly? But show me the real sight of it. The the real uh, the glide real, is it? The real I think. Paper right. I'm gonna get it now. I'm gonna get it. Uh, this two, yeah. Wind. Here you go. There's this, one there for you. This is the super glider. Yeah. It's an extremely flat paper airplane. Okay, there's another one there then. And here's the simplest. Yes, right. It's so, a very small paper airplane. Yep. There's actually, you you cannot assemble these two together and make right. a crazy airplane. Right, right. I think it's just at the flat bottom. Yes, right. It actually has a... Right, jacket. right. It's interesting that you come up with the graph of the direction of the, of the paper airplanes flying because it's... Airplanes. It's a, it's a basic, uh, what, it's a basic experiment leads basically, you to, leads you to something bigger and better. Basically, these, both, these guys are both gliders. Right. And you call the simplest and the super gliders, right? Yeah, I just named it. And yeah, this is sim this is, this is called the simplest and I think it's extremely easy to make. Would you recommend to fly it? It takes under five seconds to make. Where would you recommend to fly these, uh, Paper rockets, paper airplanes, please. In a, in a very wild, I mean, right. very wide space. Right. Right. With, with no wind at all, so with no the breeze. All right, to show there's a real glider, isn't it? Yeah, I think I, I think I left the one that I made a test without sound. All right, then. I'm back to God now. How's your experiment go? Yeah, how does it go? It's going good. Is it not sinking, yeah? I made it sink a little, but I'm going to make it look like the real Titanic. Yeah. I'm making a hole. Yeah. Guys, I think I just picked up the wrong glider. Make it so it's not sinking, isn't it? So how long does it take to sink the paper boat that you experimented? I just only made a hole. What about when, when you wave, when you try to blow it, as a wave in? Try to blow it, whether it, it is sinking. It the bottom of the boat. All right. right. I made a hole, and the first thing is, I'm going to tell you about this stuff. It was when it was still floating, yep. the started moving slowly and make it go try to get in. Right. And I was warning to make it think right. it's going to sink. I'm amazed at how this both is, of you come up with these experiments when I'm amazed is, by it. First one it didn't fly good. Yeah. But here's the second one that I used for the experiment. I made this. Oh, there you go. What a glider, eh? So, in, the, in this uh, condition in a room, there's no wind involved, no breeze involved, except the air con. So, it's really, right, according to the really concept. Yeah, that's how you would like to charm it. And you would like to build it upon this fact that without wind and breeze, it would really become a real glider, isn't it? Yeah, because it's, it's light as paper, isn't it? Like, like the, it's light as paper, like the paper. But in the real life, it, because the glider the needs wind. All right then. Okay, go on. What about your second project, please? Go on. Go on, Cub. Second project is your paper. Where's your bat? Where's your bat, please? Yes. Okay. Uh, P. Wynn has come up with the directions already. So can you explain about the direction of the wind, please, uh, with your paper? Can you explain a bit how it fly? Can you explain, please? Yes. Oh, I noticed it's flapping its wings. So can you explain to me, please, why it's flapped its wing like that? Where have you find it? Have, have, where did you find the design gone? Can you talk to me about it? This design you of this. Online. Where did you learn from the design you liked learn about from it? From YouTube. What's the most part you liked about it? What's your favorite part? I like when the you... part about the. Big Can you show legs. me and the, like that? Can you show me shaking like that? Oh, it's flapping like that then. Like look real bat. 
right? Well, this side is even more harder, but this side is even more harder. I see. Look. That is quite a project of a bat and a boat. Okay, the boat's not sinking, the bat is flying. All right, okay. Okie dokie. Everyone smile. Look at Peter win. So smile. Okay. Yep. This is actually where it flew. Right. So if you see these wave markings, those are when it flapped. Oh, that belongs to Gone then. If you just managed to finish off with the graph and everything to explain, demonstrate it. How smart. Say thank you. Say thank you. Hello. Look at me.